Welcome! This video is about cable termination with Nycopress sleeves and tools, presented through the cooperation of J.R. Clancy and the North Carolina School of the Arts Department of Stage Automation. Nycopress sleeves are one of the fundamental tools of our trade and a critical element of almost every system installed in theater. It is important to understand correct usage of Nycopress sleeves swaging tools, and proper inspection to maintain safe rigging practices. This tutorial video will guide you in proper usage and inspection of Nycopress cable terminations. To correctly install Nycopress sleeves you need the following equipment. A pair of bird's beak or other style of steel cable cutters, correctly sized cable for the selected application, and the proper swaging tool and sleeve combination for the selected cable. A complete list of Nycopress tool and sleeve combinations can be downloaded from the J.R. Clancy website, www.jrclancy.com. Be sure to read, understand, and notate all of the manufacturer's instructions for the use of your tools and hardware. It is important to note that aluminum sleeves are not acceptable for rigging applications. Be sure to use only solid copper sleeves with standard galvanized cable and tin-plated copper sleeves with stainless steel cable. We will first be making a standard cable eye splice. We have the correct length of 8th inch black galvanized aircraft cable, an 8th inch thimble, and an 8th inch copper oval sleeve. Our selected tool groove and Nycopress sleeve indicates that two crimps will be the correct combination to achieve the maximum loading capacity for our cable. Note that different tools may require different numbers of crimps for the same sleeve. Also note that Nycopress sleeves should only be used with Nycopress tools and Nycopress gauges. There should be no mixing of brands of sleeves, tools, and gauges. We will begin by ensuring that both ends of the cable are cut cleanly and perpendicular to the length of the cable. Next, we will assemble an eye splice ensuring a slight protrusion of the cable out of the dead end of the oval press. Also make sure that the thimble has enough room to rotate slightly to center itself when the load is applied to the cable. As our documentation for our tool and sleeve combination suggests two crimps, we must make sure that they are evenly spaced and pressed correctly. Continue by pressing the end of the sleeve closest to the thimble. Toggle the tool all the way closed, then release, and readjust for your second crimping. Finally, we will check that the crimps have passed the go-no-go -no -go gauge. Your swaging tool should be checked and readjusted every 50 crimps that it performs. Should the press sleeve not pass the go-no-go -no -go gauge, you may adjust your tool and repress the sleeve. However, this may only be done once. If the sleeve should fail the check a second time, it should not be used. Though documentation is available, it is good rigging practice and our policy to avoid the line splicing of wire rope. Be sure to always use a continuous run of wire rope for your rigging applications. In our final example, we will press a terminator or stop sleeve to the end of our second cable. As we are doing a different style of termination, we must refer to our documentation to select the correct groove in our tool for our cable, sleeve, tool combination. Again, make sure that the cable is cut perpendicular to its length. Slip the sleeve over the end of the cable, allowing again for a slight protrusion, and press the sleeve. Finish by checking the crimp with the go-no-go -no -go gauge. Remember, to maintain the highest rigging safety practices, always keep tools in proper working order, and be sure to read and understand all documentation and specifications associated with your tools and hardware. Nothing can replace prudent practices and diligent attention to safety.